Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Divinity Original Sin with yours truly in Zania. I uh, got to looking at the map and there's only two houses that we haven't been in. I went and looked at this one. This one's all locked up so we can't get in there yet. We could probably beat down the door but at the risk of bringing somebody else. Um, so we're going to go in and explore this house before we head up north to this place which is where Evelyn's secret lair is and which is where the quest for the monstrous monstrosity is that we got from the uh, from the uh, five guild or whatever it is the uh, fabulous five so we'll get a couple of them done up there plus more on these we'll see alright so let's boogie on in here I want to check this place out alright who's this Charlene <clears throat> a source hunter, huh? What a sight for these Sicilian eyes, or for sore Sicilian eyes. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tongue twister there, buddy. Me, I live alone here in town. Used to be that my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip. But that's all changed now. What happened to your brother Tom? He's always been something of a rascal, calling his petty hooliganism, adventuring, and endlessly worrying my poor mind. But of course, I've always loved that scamp to bits. For my part, I encouraged him to join the Legion, even got him sparring with Captain Orius now and then. But then those blasted Fabulous Five came into town. That ba oh, journal updated. That band of, I don't even know what to call them. Well, they're his heroes, and I simply couldn't prevent him from going to see them. That one meeting was all it took for Tom to run off with them on some mission to God knows where. Bye. All right, let's see what, what we got. Tom the wannabe adventurer. Brother Tom is left to become an adventurer, and she hasn't heard from him in quite some time. Okay. What do we got? Oh, who like gold cup? Key to Cecil's living quarters? Okay. We still got to find that book, too, to talk to the ghost. All right, so let's get ready. Let's go in this so we can start stealing everything. Yeah, we didn't do that. What? Oh, it's you. Come closer then. Closer. My ears aren't what they used to be, nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Swords Hunter. Our city welcomes you. Tell me about yourself. My elf. What elf? Oh, myself. I am Cecil, mayor of Sicil and husband of the stately Cecilia. I've been the mayor here for decades, and I'm quite eager to see Sicil through these difficult times. Yes, very difficult times indeed. Tell me about the issues in Sicil. What? Oh, you mean Sicil. Very difficult times indeed. As though the death of Jake and the source magic, no less, weren't enough, we're also facing all sorts of brutish intruders. The undead had o have overrun all but one northern trade route, while the orcs are making a habit of savaging our beaches. That not to mention that at the top of the whole caboodle, there's rumors of new, or some new religious sector cult, or some such sticking its tendrils into the innocent, seven-fearing folks of Sicil. And, <laughs> while we're on the subject of troubles, I myself have a private matter I'd like to bring to your attention. It involves a magic relic I'd rather foolishly saw, a weapon called the Staff of Pergamon. All right, about Jake's murder. Jake? Murdered? Oh, yes, yes, now I recall. Indeed, I could have hardly believed it myself. The counselor and I have certainly had our differences over the years, but our squabbles evaporate under such circumstances. Most of the town folk are certain Jake's wife, Esmeralda, is responsible. In fact, the Legion have taken her into protective custody to keep her safe from the mob. As you can imagine, I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Farrell was always a bit suggestive, but I never had cause to suspect her of violence. Still, one never knows for sure. Tell me about the Duke of Farrell. An uptight bloke, apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense. The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sicil is spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Miss Counselor. All right, tell me more about the undead in Sicil. What? The undead? Yes, yes. For the past two years, those blasted skeletons have all but suffocated the city. With all but one trade route overrun, Sicil's once torrential commerce has slowed to a pathetic trickle. What's this about a staff of Pergamon? The what of what now? You're speaking gibberish. 
Ah, oh, you mean the staff of Pergamon. Yes, yes, I was expecting his shipment of weapons, and among the cargo was his very powerful, very rare staff. I managed to place the order through means somewhat atypical to a government official. Cecil proved an old fool, though, for the merchant slated to deliver it uh, slated to deliver it to me has just informed me that the damn thing has gone missing. I fear it may have fallen into the wrong hands, and I wonder if you could retrieve it for me. <clears throat> Tell me about the merchant. His name's Conrad, captain of the Tide Splitter, a merchant ship docked at the Cecil Harbor, or the Cecil Harbor, the Cecil, 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 yeah, you get it, the Cecil Harbor. You can talk to him if you think it'd help, but I'd quite like to avoid getting the Legion involved if you don't mind. What do you know about the staff itself? The staff itself contains a shard of an ore, highly valued for its use in weapons of war. I know, uh, I know use of the material to be forgiven. But I was desperate to do something to aid the townsfolk against the undead. Can you tell me more about the revel uh, and sex? Well, I, I do believe that some t or something your parents ought to have discussed with you long ago. Source Hunter, but I suppose if, if you really don't know, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't at least explain the basics. You see, when... <laughs> Sicilian sects. <laughs> when a lady and a fella find each other rather nice, well, rather more than nice, they'll occasionally, <clears throat> well, they'll, uh, oh, this is nonsense. I'm the mayor for the seven sake. I can't be bothered to chat all day about the birds and the bees when Cy Seal's under siege by orcs, undead, and cultists. All right. Oh, no, no. All right. Can you tell me more about the library? That depends. What kind of berries are you interested in exactly? This fella is deaf. Ah, the library. Yes, yes, you must have a visit. It's the Gym of Sicil. Would you like to have a look? I'll escort you upstairs myself. All right, not just now, thanks. Uh, someone wants Victoria dead. Someone wants to see Victoria dead. That cherub of the book, that seraph of the library? Outrageous. Hear you me. You must stop that dog by any means necessary. As mayor of Sicil, you have my permission to take drastic measures if need be. Right, I've joined the Fabulous Five. Let's discuss the assignment they gave me. Oh yes, the Fabulous Five. Aren't they simply fantastic? I'm sure they'll get the job done in no time, especially with your expert hands lit to their cause. That machine Aru built is an abomination. It must be stopped at all costs. I'll bet the wizard himself could provide some advice regarding how to destroy it. He's the mad scientist who created it, after all. Okay, uh, can you tell me more about your library? It depends. What kind of berries? Blah, blah, blah. Sure, sounds interesting. Marvelous. Follow me then. Bye. We'll steal them gold cups and the painting on the way down. All right, he went upstairs. Let's uh, let's go ahead and theft the key. Let's go ahead and get the other goodies in here real quick. Uh, some crappy cloth armor. Fanny Blossom, we'll take it. Okay, we'll take it to sell it. Come on, come on, come on, get over there. Alright, we'll get the rest up when we come back down. What? Oh yes, this library is a jewel in Sasio's crown, the beacon of culture and learning in our fair city. My Victoria has every volume you could possibly imagine. And she's got every speck of information about this place packed into her, her brilliant brain. Yes, Victoria's come a long way from the little bundle of claws and teeth I adopted so long ago. It brings a tear to my eye just seeing her here among her, her beloved books. What? Oh, yes, yes. I'll be on my way back downstairs now. Please introduce yourself. I know Victoria will be happy to make your acquaintance. Bye! Bye! Charlene. Hello again, adventurer. I hope you wipe those muddy boots on your way in. Tell me about yourself. Me? I live alone here in town. It used to be that my younger brother Tom and I were practically joined at the hip. Oh, we don't talk to her. Jahan. Omnis Atem Mele Demon Gishabada Yeah. What? What is this? Who are you interrupting my why are you who are you to interrupt my musings? By Naga the Protector, they have the manners of boars, these boatmen of Sia Seal. Oh, 
But perhaps I spoke too soon. Perhaps I was mistaken. For you hardly resemble the local fisher folk, which incidentally is a compl compliment of copious dimensions indeed. No, a source hunter. That is what you are. Yes, a stalker of sorcery, a chaser of charms, perniculous. In truth, I cannot go so far as to say that it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, for I take no pleasure in the company of man. But it may just be our mutual advantage, or be to our mutual advantage, to join forces. Number oh, join forces? Why? Simply because you hunt source, and I, Jahan, hunt demons. You are aware, of course, that often both of these pests frequent the same shadowy pools of infamy. Continue. Now I hate what I hunt, but I respect its cunning. Should I not? I'd have been decimated body and soul long since. Let's check his... Who? Resurrect scroll, minor healing potion. This is a, a sentiment I'm quite certain you must recognize. Let there be strength in cunning, yes, but also in numbers. The calculus of wizardry I offer you, the might of the magician's mastermind. Ooh, that's cool. I'd like to get a mid magic user. On one condition that on our joint travels we will never deal with demonic entities, no matter how tempting their propositions. Give me your word on this, and I'll weave you spells. Very well, there will be no deals with demons. Agreed, nothing good ever came from bargaining with those devils anyway. Most gratifying, I see you are firm on purpose and thereby ready to descend. Descend into the madness that is sorcery, into the depths where demons dance. Gladly shall I follow you into the abyss. Onward, blood and triumph await. Alright, so we got a new guy. What can he do? Teleportation. Head vice. Uh, magical claw hold. Six is straight through a chance to set blinded status. Uh, bitter cold. Hundred percent chance to set chilled status. All right. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. 100% chance to set chilled status. Chilled makes target less resistant to water spells, but a bit more resistant to fire. Uh, fire spells. Chilled has a negative impact on movement. Instantaneously summon a bitter cold sensation. Okay. Water. 100% chance to wet, set wet status. Creates water puddles on terrain, douses fires, and makes characters wet. Uh, Staff of the Tempest. Launch a magic missile from your staff that deals 9 to 22 water damage. Blitz bolt. Loose uh, a shooter bolt of electricity that deals 26 to 28 air damage. And minor heal. Okay. And what inventory? Just them two items. Alrighty. So we've now got a caster. That's awesome. Now we got four people to take with us. Who's this? Victoria. Oh, there's the philosophy of death. There it is right there. Alright. What's this then? A small bones wandering about with a, without its mama. Ha! Come back when you bring someone worth talking to. Yeah, yeah, I meant to talk to you with this guy. In name of Am Amun Hor, I bid thee Thuzdjigida how. Be welcome, human. My library is yours, and I hope your friendship is mine. Who are you, madam? I am Victoria, daughter of Mayor Cecil. Oh, I know what you are thinking. The likeliness isn't exactly striking, is it? When I was very young, you see, I must have been cast out by my tribe, for I was found in a wicker basket floating past Sicil toward the sea. The fisherman who found me would have drowned me on the spot, for I am an orc after all. But praise be, I am an orc. Dear Cecil among, was among the gathered crowd, and he took pity on the exiled infant that chance had put in his way. He raised me like I was his own. The kindness of souls taught me the language of men, their customs, and their letters. Thus I became the city's librarian, a position I uphold with no small diligence and pride. May I take books from the library? Indeed you may. The wisdom I here hoard is yours to pursue and even take with you. All I can ask is that you return the books you borrow so that others may enjoy them too. Let's, guess, let's discuss El Eglandir, the, El Eglandir, the elf. Kari al Esor. Do pardon my language, friends. Well, you didn't offend me because I didn't know what you said. But that is quite the startling revelation. So much sadness, so much anguish. Eglandier's tale is heart trending. Though it seems that in the pursuit of retribution, he has himself become a great 
are as great a ghost as those that wronged him. Does he not see that I am now the one who is being the, or is to be wronged? Why, oh why, must he make me all of all gentle-minded and life-loving creatures? Why must he make me the target of his imperishable hate? Whom have I ever harmed? I live for books, not brutality. So let us approach the situation with reason and ask ourselves, where do we go from here? Though first let me say this, something. From my heart I thank you for warning me. I thank you and I trust you, so pray, let me pose the question, what do you advise we should do? It is but your amulet the elf wants as proof of your death, so why not give it to me? I could have him arrested. Let's change the subject. Um, my amulet? But it is hax magic, a sacred token that houses the presence of my ancestors. No, I cannot part with my talisman, the keepsake of my soul. All right, let's change the subject. I could have him arrested. Yes, a capital notion. Let him be brought before the law for his schemes. I'm an innocent. And Eglandir would see me dead. That is a grave offense, is it not? Continue. It would probably be better if you rather than I informed Captain Aureus, though. He bears little good will towards me ever since my more savage brethren have been marauding the beaches and killing his legionnaires. I'll take my leave. All right, so apparently I can use the books now. But I can't use the desk. You just watch me, though. Little takey. Field guide. He who smelt it, volume one. I found volume two. All right, let's see. Fun with fluids, volume four. Pirate's life. Fun with fluids. I think we might have two already, but. All right, let's go over here and start with all the bookshelves. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Fun with Fluids Volume 7. Sheet of paper and a blank earth scroll. Some more good stuff. Uh, immune to Poisoning Skill Book. Ice Shard Scroll. Read it to learn its contents. All right, what is that? Another blank earth scroll. Rat extermination. Five. Sorry about that. Shit, you better have five. Apparently that one had a... Uh... Philosophy of Death. Here. All right, let's take that. Whoops. Okay. So, what else can we take? Not a whole lot of anything. We can invest, though. I think we already got that book. that one <clears throat> all right, that'd be all the books really the only thing worth taking is the empty potion flasks in the chest the chest doesn't seem locked so Ruby we'll take we'll take that and that let's go ahead and grab these while we're out Hurry up, go get that painting. All right, we're ready to roll. Covered. I'm coming out of it now. Just wait. Want nobody to throw us in jail. Maxine, we can talk to Maxine. Golly gosh, one who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Sicil with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air, I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters. One hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Tell me a bit about yourself. I'm the mayor's cat. 
Don't you know, born and raised on velvets and viviennes of most exquisite varieties. Maxine rhymes with queen after all. And dearest, that is hardly a coincidence. I'd like to ask you some further questions. Do you fear the un Don't you fear the undead? Heavens forbid, no. Fear is rather too strong a term there, Hunter dearest. The predator's instinct is a trait we sh share. You and I, and though those rancid ramblings, ramblers may not be quite as easy to put to the claw as mice are, I assure you, they are just as easily outwitted. Tell me about Sasil. Oh, this quaint little town is a tad too par parochial for one of my of my more <laughs> urbane tastes. But one has to make do, hasn't one? The fresh sea air does go great or does go to great lengths to invigorate one's spirit. That much I'll admit. And it's a rather jolly watch or it's rather jolly to watch the ship sail in laden with all kinds of exotic wares, full of the little treats the mayors like spoil me with. Darling man, he dotes on me so. I'll take my leave. Alright, there's a chest over there we need to go go deal with. So let's go ahead and get invisible. We'll loot the chest. There's nothing. We'll loot the cupboard's empty. That cupboard's empty. We can check that one. And then I think we're outie. We'll take you. And uh, there's a box over there, but I don't know if we can make it to it in time. But we'll see. Let's get away. All right. Well, wait. There's a door back here. You got to go rob him first. You all know this. You got to steal everything. Everything must go. All right. We're just waiting on the uh, thingy. Come on. Let's go. Any freaking day now. Painting of a woman. There we go. Now we're safe. A light gold cup. Golden kitchen knife, right? Golden fork. Cupboard. Better than mine. Nothing and nothing. Something this bad boy. Locked. Do we see a key anywhere yet? I spotted something interesting. Where? What? Did he spot? All right, I'm lost. He spotted something interesting. Butter knife, thread, old copper ring, we'll take them. What did you spot that was interesting? I don't know how to find out either. Usually, like, they found a button that one time and... Oh, there we go. I'm thinking that key is what he spotted. Let's see if it'll open that. Oh yeah, an identified aged leather and a painting of a rooster. <clears throat> oh, watch this. I'll show you what we got to do here. My gods, what is going on here? First I have to shoo away a deranged imp, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you?
This is a curious mix-up. I'll be quite the story to tell tomorrow. Oh, good gosh, I'm at two, she's at seven. <clears throat> oh, I'm in the wrong with the wrong person. This is going to suck. And I just saved. I'm toast. Little mix up indeed. I don't know what you and that horrible little imp are planning, but leave my bathroom uh, out of it. God, that's what happens when you have the wrong person. All right. Well, I'll play with it and see if I can't eventually beat her. Uh, probably not, but uh, we'll see. And uh, I will also see you all in the next episode where we will be, because we're done in town. This was the last place. We will head north and uh, open up that cave and do a bunch of fighting. All right, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.